Hello. I'm just setting up the rest of this stuff now, but everything should be should be good to go. Oh, forgive me, I've got a little pack of look candy things that came with a pack I got at work because I had a long long day at work today so I am I'm trying to recover the, the, the spent glucose in the brain so I'm gonna have a little bit of uh, ASMR How's um everyone doing? Capture Isaac, please. Okay. Oh, is there. Beautiful. Fantastic work. Today was a pretty good day. Pretty good day. I, uh, just double checking that my mic is in fact on. Last time I streamed, I had it off for the first like five minutes. Uh, cause I make a point of turning it off every time I finish streaming cause there's the small probability that I somehow remain streaming and that terrifies me like more than many things. Just like having the microphone on and streaming while I'm just going about in my day to day life. So, uh, hang on, uh, can I, okay, can make it a little bit bigger, fit the screen, beautiful. So yeah, today was a good day, um, got my bike fixed, uh, yesterday, so I actually rode it to work. And that was pretty nice, that was a pretty nice. Who do we need to unlock things with? We already did. We did pretty decent. Oh, we've got Azazel. Azazel's good for like easy runs. We can do some Azazel runs for sure. And you know, I'm telling you, it was kind of a sign. Because I rode my bike to work today. First time in a while since, well, I absolutely wrecked it on my first ride to work uh, in 2024. And I found $40 on the floor. Two $20 uh, bills right there. So, you know, that's a sign, I think. It was... That reminded me as well. Uh, there was like a time in school so my school was pretty cool because uh, they let you, like you could buy sandwiches in the morning if you wanted to. You know, you 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 obviously you brought your own sandwich, of course you did, but you also uh, could buy one from the cafeteria. They were like dirt cheap; they were like one or two euros for like a foot long tuna sandwich. You know, like it was a good deal, good ass deal. Oh, this is beautiful. The charming shot. And for like four or five days straight, like pretty much a whole week, I swear, like I found two euros right outside, like right in front of the cafeteria. 
but like in the exact same spot. So like it seemed almost kind of deliberate, you know, it seemed kind of like someone was putting them there for me to find. Not that I was complaining or anything, cause you know, free sandwich, hell yeah. But anyway, that's just somehow was brought to mind the way I, the way I just found $40 on the floor, which, you know, today buys you about one sandwich. So, you know, just kind of made me think about that. Okay, secret room up here, I suppose. Yeah. Wow, the spiders did not want to mess with me, huh? God. I'm gonna vent about work a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna do it, cause, uh, you know, this is, uh, free, and a therapist costs money, so, I'm just gonna vent real quick. So, we're doing, oh, hello, did you just, uh, get in here? I was, uh, I was talking about how I found $40 on the floor today on the way to on the way to work like first bike ride uh post the big breakdown of 2024 and i just found two 20 dollar bills just chilling there on the on the floor it was great Oh, this is a net positive. It's just nine lives and a red heart. Yeah, absolutely, we take that. Yeah, free money. I mean, I have an inkling of uh, who it belonged to, the way it was. Um... <laughs> oh, that's two thirds of the, of the way to Guppy. Guppy is like a very powerful transformation in this game. So I'm very excited about that. But I have a pretty, pretty good, I think, suspicion of who it belonged to. The way it was, like, right outside of a car's door, you know? I'm thinking someone stepped out of the car and probably uh, lost it. Oh, I'm not sure how this interacts with Brimstone. I think it's, like, fine, actually. Oh, yeah, it's so fine. Oh, baby. No, finders keepers. No, absolutely, I agree. I mean, that's why I took it instead of like taping it to their windshield or whatever. It's my money now. But yeah, uh, really so felt like like a sign from the gods that I was on the right track with the uh, with the bike ride, getting the bike fixed. It pretty much paid for the bike uh, fixing because getting the bike fixed cost me like. Uh, Okay, so that should be in here. Cost me like uh, $60, and I've got 40 of those back like the next day. This is incredible. All right, sure, I'll bite. Yes. And I was also mentioning you. I I've only been streaming for like ten minutes, but you've missed like a couple of a couple of stories already. I was saying how it reminded me, uh, for whatever reason, that for a while at school I would find like every every day I would find two euros right outside of the cafeteria, just like on the floor, and it was like perfect because it was kind of 
like what it cost to buy a sandwich at the cafeteria. So it was like, it was incredible. I'm actually going to invest into the shop because I think like the shop's gonna stay bad until I donate to it. Yeah. Yeah. So every day I would have my sandwich that my mom packed for me. And then on top of that, I would, my fat ass would go to the cafeteria and would buy a tuna fo foot long for a euro and a half. I was living so good. Bro has increased drop rates. I mean, honestly, yeah, I kind of did. I actually kind of did. This runs already, like, so one, by the way. Like, we've barely touched it, and it's already so one. Had, like, three incredible items. Yeah. We're melting every boss. Yeah, yeah, this run is already one. That's decent. That's decent. Sure, we'll take it. I'm gonna grab it just for the progress toward the Bob transformation. Oh, hello. Alyssa's first time chat. Incredible. You have two Twitch accounts. Yeah, I guess so. You used to spend lunch in the library because you commute to him from school. Oh, damn. That's, that's pretty rough. Uh, I mean, I guess I was... I mean, it feels a little wrong to say, but maybe that money was meant for you, and I was taking it from the universe uh, drop drop table. Should be like here then, I guess. Yeah. And um, it also made me think about, and this is a pretty wild story. I was telling Gail. So, did you guys at school? ever have those trips that are like like overnight multi-day trips like it's like 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 monday through friday you stay someplace you know type of thing because we we had those we did those but like you can really tell i'm i'm only for kids who could afford it. Uh, thankfully, ours like if one if Spain has one thing that they do well is they they have a lot of like very affordable like pretty well subsidized like like government stuff. So like lunch is usually free, you know, as it should be, and all of that. So it was it was a very very affordable trip. But I was telling Gail about this, and she was just like, yeah, we just call those, like, school trips, you know, overnight trips, whatever. You want to know what we call them in Spain? And this is like, you know, tell me your uh, Spanish without telling me your Spanish. We called them going to the colonies. For real, man. <laughs> it's just, it's just what you, it's just what we called them. We called them going to the colonies. <laughs> Yeah, um, which, you know, like, I find it funny. I was telling someone at work about this today because it was just like brought to the front of my, on my front of my mind. And they, they acted like it was like offensive or something. I, I mean, it might be the colonialist brain speaking here. I don't feel like saying, calling that going to the colonies is particularly wrong. Because it's not like we're going like, you know, some plays and like enslaving and whipping people were going to like the local museums and stuff it's just a funny way to call it that's for a uh, very pretty obviously a remnant of uh what the, the, the we used to do and we used to be for sure for sure but i don't think it's i don't think it's inherently bad <laughs> i think it's kind of funny
Yeah, it's like, it's tone deaf. Yeah, I think that's kind of it. It's definitely tone deaf. I'm not going to say it's like perfectly fine. But it is, you know, it's just kind of funny. <laughs> so many flies. Have I been to the... I have been to the item room. Alright, well, time to keep going. This, this run is so one. It's so one. But anyway. um, So our school trips were cheap. But they were cheap kind of for a reason. You know? We, they were cheap because... We kind of went, like... Instead of going to, like, some kind of, like, touristy destination or somewhere that was even, like, remotely really worth going to we went to like this one same place every year we clearly had like some kind of deal discount going on and it was just two houses out in the middle of like a forest they had like a pool but because it was cheaper to go during like february we would go like you know february like 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 post christmas pre summer you know it was like that sort of like it's cold it's not really worth like doing anything around there yeah we went on summer camp in february that's kind of the going that's what we did when we went to the colonies <laughs> so it was just a lot of like it was just two houses and a big old spread of forest and not much to do every now and then we had like some activities you know we would go out to like a like a local farm or something i remember we went to like a farm and they taught us how to, like, milk cows, and I was terrified of cows for, like, years after that. Because I'd never imagined a cow to be so imposing up front. Hello. But yeah, we went to, like, but most of the time we had nothing to do. It was, like, morning, and then be out there, do, like, some activities, play soccer, or whatever, you know, just, like, have fun. But it was, like, morning free time lunch and then afternoon free time and dinner and that was kind of it was just like a way for us to not have to study and have a bit of fun and stuff and so there was not much to do it was a bunch of young sort of early teen kids and there was a forest so of course we spent all our free time in that forest and it turned very Lords of Lord of the Flies in in that forest. I'm not gonna lie. So that's kind of this is where the story is going, by the way. It's sort of the teachers were very happy to just like let us do whatever the hell we wanted as long as we were back by dinner. So we would just go out there and we would go into the forest. So we went out, we would, uh, it would always start the same way. It would always just start kind of every man for himself. You know, you and like maybe a couple of friends, you'd go out, you'd find cool rocks, you'd build huts, and I'm doing kind of like air quotes, you can't see it, but we would build huts, which was kind of just like three sticks up on like against the tree. But it was kind of what you did, right? Except over time, we would kind of get like absorbed into bigger plants and such until eventually it was time to like go to war like literally we went to war in in that forest we would spend the morning uh free time gathering like finding sticks and stones and all of that stuff and then in the afternoon we would like beat each other up with them we would set up kind of like a war it was it was more it was more like guerrilla it wasn't like you know it wasn't like lining up and then charging and then like it wasn't organized it was just two bands that knew only one could stand that was kind of what it was so that's uh, <laughs> that's what we did and and you would think, by the way, because this is um, this is this is just like one class doing this. this. Is like the whole grade went at once. So it's like a few hundred kids, boys and girls, in that forest. Because the girls also got involved, and the girls did not like mess around. 
Because, like, boys, you know, we were just out there with our silly little sticks and stones, kind of, like, hitting each other. But the girls were, like, breaking the Geneva Convention in that forest, casually. <laughs> the girls would, like... Because we went in February, right? And it was cold. So... <laughs> So the girls, uh, well, everyone kind of like brought like winter wear with gloves and everything. And the girls would go out into the forest with gloves on and they would find like rocks to use. And they would like wrap them in sort of some sort of like, like, like it wasn't like poison ivy, but it was kind of poison ivy, you know, it was like some sort of like plant or something that made, gave you some sort of like a rash. It was like, you know. So they would wrap the rocks in that and they would throw them. That's how the girls did war. The girls were like, you know, you would not, you would not mess around with the freaking girls. Um, Cause I remember this happened every year and the, the allegiances were never maintained. Year after year. I okay, guess so it's gotta be like down here, I think. No, so it's up here then. Uh, ooh. Beautiful. Because allegiances were never maintained. And there was one year with me, where me and like, like a group of friends ended up being essentially like like the working class for the girls like the girls camp oh we don't know what it is okay guys left or right what do we get right all right it's decent it's decent could be better but it's decent i guess now we, we're gonna have like four options here Okay, well, which one? I'm gonna... Well, fuck it, I'm just gonna grab this. Oh, that was awful. I should've waited, I should've asked. But yeah, one year, me and like a group of friends ended up being like working class for the girls camp. And brother, I've never felt safer in that forest. <laughs> like, <laughs> we would out be out there like gathering stones, you know? And, uh... There was some like some like like scout party would find us. They'd be like a group of like like two or three with some sticks and they'd be like, Who are you with? And be like, We're with the girls and they would like back off, bro. They would like they were they were not trying to mess with us. There there was respect commanded by being part of that clan. But there was one year where it became like bigger than ever. Cause usually, no matter what, you know, you had like a few tribes and even though only one could stand, it was a bit of a melee all the way till the end, and, you know. There was one year, it was like one of the first years we were there, that there there ended up being like a, a, a gathering of... This is hell. There ended up being like a, a like clumping of tribes in such a way that there were literally only two massive tribes left by the end, right? So it was like, like, it was kind of like the U.S. political system, is kind of what it was. Like, there was only two parties. And a, one of them needed to win, and the other one needed to lose, but they were both kind of too big to fail, you know? Like, there, there's, like there's no way you could d declare you had won a war against a group of that many people, because there was, you know, it was a few hundred, like, Per side, at least there was like a little over a hundred on each side. So it was definitely like more than any anyone could really like judge to have become like winners or losers. So what we did is we came up with Operation Skyfall. Um, this is, by the way, remember, this is in Spain. It's happening, it's all happening in Catalan and Spanish, but it was called Operation Skyfall in, in English. <laughs> uh, and it was kind of, you know, it was because it was like the year that the James Bond movie with the same name had come out. 
So we had Operation Skyfall. What Operation Skyfall was, was uh, we, one night, instead of going to bed, a group of us snuck out into the forest and gathered sticks and like placed them in little caches, like hidden around uh, the enemy camp. This is the boss rush chamber. I'm doing it because it's like, it's, I need it for like, like basically an achievement. Every, you need to beat it at least once with every character to unlock stuff. It's, it's optional. Yeah, there we go. I just beat it. Technology. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Okay. So... <laughs> Operation Skyfall. We... Instead of going to bed, we spend the whole night running around finding, like, sticks to use. And we hit them around the enemy camp. And then when the day actually came, the other group were, of course, spending the morning gathering. It's sort of like, you know, it was like an unspoken thing. You spent the morning gathering sticks and stones and all this stuff. So you could then go and, like, beat up on the kids uh, in the post-lunch, like, break. That was just kind of how we did. But we already had the sticks from uh, raiding and looking for them at night. So we just all went like pretending like we were gathering sticks when in fact we went and uh, found the sticks we'd already placed. We all picked them up and then we just won my friend, he he'd come up with Operation Skyfall. He stood on top of a hill watching the action go down he saw we all had the sticks and he goes Skyfall! Just like yelling through the top of his lungs and we all start charging in. He he busts out the like Bluetooth like like speaker, started playing the song Skyfall and we all started like like fighting them while they weren't ready and that's how uh, we ended up winning. But yeah, that was just that was just what it was like to go on a school trip back home. <laughs> that's, that's what it was like to go to the colonies. Oh, fantastic. Paralysis. The, we are hitting it out of the park with these builds. Truly. But yeah, I don't know. That's that's sort of the the anecdote uh the anecdote well kind of uh ran out with that. Oh, never mind. I have one more anecdote. I've got okay. Unironically, I've started keeping like basically a to-do list on my phone, and when I come up with like a topic that I think would be fun to talk on stream, I just like write it on there. Like that's what I've started doing. Justice. And um the 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 topic that I saw it was on Reddit. It was on It was on, I forget which subreddit, but it was just like, such just some random subreddit. And they were talking about how, it was a tweet, a screenshot of a tweet that said, My kids just found out that the bowl we use to make cake is the same bowl uh, we are sick in. I never really questioned it, but yeah, I guess it's a little weird. We're changing that now. Which... I guess means that like in that family they had a bowl that's like the family sick bowl 
which is where you throw up when you're not feeling good. And then they just wash that bowl and use it again when they're done, I think is the, the consensus. And I, that was like weird as hell, that's what I thought anyway. But I go into the comments and at least like uh, the top comments, you know, they were kind of defending that. Yeah, I am a redditor, shut the hell up. I'm, I'm not as much of a redditor as I used to be. Oh shit, oh I've got more lives, never mind. Oh my god. This w this run was supposed to be one. Just need to like maybe not be an idiot about how I beat this. Yeah, like that. Also, I've just realized that I didn't even need to get into this room. There's nothing in it. I'm so lost, man. Oh, there we go. I'm not lost. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 a sick ball. So yeah, it's apparently it's like a thing. Cause like there were people in the comments being like, oh yeah, that's like normal. As long as you wash it, it's as clean as any other bowl. And um, stuff like, like uh, the family sick bowl is a mainstay of white culture. And I'm like, the fuck it is, eh? What the hell? is like you know but like okay but you the thing is but you've heard that's the that's the fucked up part like you agree that it's gross but you've heard of a sick bowl <laughs> you've heard of it like this is <laughs> that's what's so fucked like i would never imagine that people were saying like okay why would you use a bowl and then you know like like put like popcorn in it or like yeah, like, either throw up into the toilet, like a normal person, and if you're, like, that kind of sick where, like, you can't even get out of bed, then get, like, a trash can and use that. Don't use, like, a damn bowl. Oh, shit. This might be kind of difficult. Oh, shit. This really might be kind of difficult. Please, please. Okay. Whew. Whew. That was kind of touch and go. Yeah, yeah, just like, if you're gonna be sick, just be sick, like, in a trash bag is what I was thinking. But, like, people were, like, getting upset that they were like, wait, how would you even throw up in a trash can? The trash can is dirty. Like, use a trash bag. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Like, no, man, that's really, it's really not that weird, I think. Yeah, a sick bucket that's only used when you're sick. Okay, I, I see, I guess I see the logic in that. I just, you know, people were saying like, oh, well, as long as you have a toilet in the same room as your toothbrush, that toothbrush is dirtier than, like, it's like rubbing poop on your teeth. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't intellectually know. It's not like I, it's not like I took the... It's not like I wiped my ass. Okay, that's the thing. It's not like I wiped my ass with the toothbrush, right? And then I just ran soap on it and put it back. That's what you were talking about with a sick bucket, like like a sick bowl. Yeah, and it makes me a little conscious. Oh, Eden could be fun. It makes me a little self-conscious of like, you know, the, like the times I've been in like someone else's house. And, you know, have I eaten, like, Doritos out of the bowl they throw up in or something? Like, I don't know. It makes me a little worried, honestly. I feel like that should be, like, a prosecutable offense. Shouldn't- I don't think you should be allowed- I feel like if you feed someone out of the family sick bowl, you go to jail. Do not pass go, do not collect $200. I don't care. Threw up in a bowl at sea. I mean, but also, okay, I, I, 
I, I think it is, but because, like, you know, the sensible thing would have been to throw up into the sea. <laughs> and, you know, it's like, it's like they're the descendants of the idiots that did not realize they should be throwing up into the sea instead of into the bucket. Because, like, the sea, the sea is the toilet, right? Like, that's where you, that's where you should be throwing up. That's what I'm thinking. I think you I think you're right and you know for for all the oh damage up yes please. I think you're right and that's what's kind of fucked up. But like America is descended from the people that threw up in a bucket instead of just straight into the damn sea. Oh, I need a bomb. Another thing, okay, that's that's something we do in Spain that apparently stresses out some of my American friends. We keep unopened milk at room temperature. And we treat it kind of like 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 tomato, like pasta sauce or something. And then when we crack it open, we put that bad boy in the fridge. Yeah, right? Okay, I, I don't think it's very weird, but, uh, like, when it's been brought up and... Because I remember, like, some of my American friends that were, like, scandalized because they'd been to, like, Spain. And they'd asked for, like, a latte or something. And when the person at the bar had, like, like run out of milk, they just pulled out a carton of milk from under the bar instead of, like, from a fridge. And they were, like shocked by that. I'm like, no, I mean, it's just, it's just unopened milk, you know, it's fine. Yeah, any pantry item that's unopened. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I absolutely, oh, I, yeah, I'm gonna have to take this, so. We're going into devil deals. So anyway, um, by the way, uh, feel free to send me more tier lists. We're kind of done with most of what I have in the backlog. I have Alyssa's uh, pictures of cool skeletons with guns. And uh, I think that's about it. What did you send? P not like what what does that mean? <laughs> you weren't here for um they are in the VODs just stored in the channel. Some of the VODs are like gone now though, cause which only keeps them for seven days if you're not like a successful streamer. But uh, there's a repository for them in uh, on YouTube. It's linked in the it's linked in the, the the channel about page, I think, or something like that. You should be able to find them very easily. The Gen Z slang one was about the most painful thing I've ever done in my damn life. I've never felt like less... I've never felt less like hip than when I was ranking Gen Z slang. Like if you look if you look back through that you can see I'm just there's I'm not comfortable with it. I'm looking at all of it. I'm looking at, I like, because uh, sometimes, uh, is, okay, is, I don't, I, I don't want it to come across as like narcissistic, right? But I, I watch back through my own bonds. And I mainly do it so, like, I know, uh, sort of, 
it's sort of like like reviewing, you know, I'm sort of grading myself. I'm like, okay, was this entertaining? Was this fun? I'm trying to like, like build up on what I've done. And I'm like watching back through that. The felony one, the felony one was fun. Yeah, felony one was fun. The animals I could beat in a fight was also fun. The white boy names was fun. That one was definitely fun. Thank you, Alyssa, for that one. I've got one in the chamber that's uh, ranking fast food french fries. But the thing is, I, there's a lot of fast food places in America I've never been to. So I probably... It would probably be a very short, very uninspiring tier list to watch me do. I don't think I have a single worthwhile opinion on those. I've, I've eaten McDonald's, I've eaten Burger King, and in and out and Shake Shack. And I think that's it. I don't think that's like, I don't think anyone wants to see that. <laughs> so, so yeah, please uh, feel free to go to, I think it's like tier, tiermaker.com or something like that. And like DM me tier lists if you want to. Cause I am running out of ones that I feel would be good to do. And I think, I mean, I think I've already mentioned, this was the wrong card. Uh, I think I've already mentioned this, but I really enjoy doing, doing tier lists. Not only because it's sort of like, like a fun way to like create a bit of conversation and like, like, you know, to be a bit more personable on stream and everything. And... Oh, is it like the thermal ER? But I, I think it's also like a very interesting thing to see, sort of what you guys want to see me rate. I think it's also like a, a, a fun thing to, to, to explore. It sort of goes both ways, see? It's not parasocial, because it goes both ways, guys. You're my best friends and I love you, uh, for real. Like, actually. So, give me all your money, is what I'm saying, basically, I think. Oh shit, it's like a shotgun. Beautiful. What's in it? Yeah. God, I better start getting some health back soon. I'm like I'm I'm digging myself so deep into the beautiful the tower no thank you yes oh hi Emma what's up I've also considered, I don't know if it would be better or worse, uh, lasagna is up soon. Like, up as in, like, done? You're crazy. Already? make it now oh I'm gonna be eating so good tonight guys I'm gonna be eating so good tonight oh baby I'm looking back at the stream because the stream is running at 30 FPS or it should anyway that's this that's the speed I've got my software recording at because 60 FPS was making the game chug sometimes but it looks a little bad to me. 
And that's so weird, because I was one of those guys when, like, we started getting into, like, 60 FPS and everything. I was one of those guys that was like, what? But the human eye can only see, like, 24 FPS anyway. Why do we need... Why do we need 60? What does 60 do? But actually, I can I can't see the difference. I, I see the error of my ways, for sure. Wish that was you. Wish what was you. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, lasagna. I know, right? Oh, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna, it's gonna be so good. I feel so bad because I, I, it's like so heteronormative. It's so, like, like gendered. But Emma cooks so good, and I can't cook for shit. And I'm so excited that she cooks and she likes it. Have I not been in this room already? More spider friends, beautiful. Your boyfriend says the same. Yeah, but like, have you seen what you post and what you cook? Yeah, of course. Speaking of like hetero uh, normative stuff and like the whole like like women cooking and all of that, y'all remember when was it Burger King, Burger King UK, that made a tweet that was like women do belong in the kitchen actually, because they were like they were creating some sort of like 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 a, a, a scholarship or a fund to send women to like culinary school, and they tweeted like it was like the worst way ever possibly to like promote that oh shit these are both good i don't have any part of guppy and i don't need it though i i kind of need i kind of need the health i need the health hang on a second i'm gonna i'm just gonna go turn on the light here because it's getting dark on me in this room So much better. But yeah, that was kind of wild. And you know, it's, it's fun because at least I know I will never be, I will never be as bad as Burger King with that, you know? It's like, it, it's great when someone else just absolutely just like belly flops on, on their attempt. Cause then you're like, you know, yeah, I can probably, I can, I can do it. I can like fuck up a little, you know, I'm not going to fuck up that bad. Cause you don't understand a lot of what I, a lot of what I do on a day to day basis is be kind of paranoid. Like I, I catastrophize a lot. And in many ways, I it's fine, kind of, because I, in many ways, I use it to, like, just be like ready for the future. You know, it does it it doesn't hurt me. It just helps me plan better. It's you know, I'm always like I'm never forgetting anything anywhere because before I go anywhere, I'm always like worried that I am forgetting something, and then I double check. You know, and like. Wow, this was awful. Can I blow you up? And what does it do? It gives me spiders. Beautiful. 
But yeah, that's kind of a lot of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's like great fun. Uh, now that I've decided to stream for whatever the fuck reason. Because now it means I uh, have to constantly worry about maybe saying something that's going to get me freaking cancelled. Ah, shit. I should not have gone in here. I really should not have gone in here. Holy shit. Nice. Bro, what the hell? Three bombs in a row. I'm down to one heart. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. No, I've been here. I've... Have I not been down here? I guess I've not. I thought I had. I've, I have been in there. Yeah. I have a friend as well. Who is like decently successful at streaming. You know, she's got like... Closing in on 900 followers. It's like, you know, it's a decent, it's a decent amount, you know, it's like over 10 times what I've, over a hundred times what I've got, actually. <laughs> I was going to say over 10 times, holy shit, over a hundred times what I've got. So, you know, definitely doing pretty well for herself. And I do wonder sometimes how she thinks about, you know, what she thinks about the fact that I'm streaming which i know i've it, i shouldn't worry about because she's a great person and she would never be bothered by something like this but i am kind of like bro am i stepping on her turf am i kind of taking over her thing <laughs> is it fun for her when i message her stuff like oh being a streamer is like when you're speaking and you don't know what the hell you said after the stream, isn't it? Ha ha ha. So true, so true, bestie. It's not great. I need to go. Oh. I need to go find like a heart. Please. Spare a heart? No? Eh, yeah, heart. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. But she's also got, like, streamer... She's got, she's got friends that she's made, like, while streaming, you know? She's, like, part of, like, one of those little streamer groups communes whatever like clans i don't know what they call them but she's part of the one of them so she's definitely got someone that can relate but anyway and once again this is you know this is this whole issue this whole problem is in my head you know she comes by she watches the stream she has fun or she says so hello we're um we're doing, I think, therapy on me. I'm not sure. Uh, it's great fun, though. Yeah, let's hold the spear. Yeah, like we're doing therapy. Oh, let me grab the spirit heart. Much needed. Revealing all the deep dark secrets? No, not all the deep dark secrets. No, not those. Okay. Give me a shield. Suddenly I'm like a freaking knight out here. Spear and shield. No, the, the deep dark secrets are mostly... Staying, uh, staying deep and dark. 
I don't know. I mean, okay, on the topic of therapy, I've never gone to therapy, and I don't think that I need much therapy anyway, or like really if at all. I'm sure I could like benefit from it, but I don't think I've got like a big issue that I like. I need someone with professional skill to help like talk me through, you know? Well, you know what time it is. Plus two health, full health. This is just strictly better. Yeah, okay, plus two health. Therapy isn't for everyone. I know, yeah, I don't, I don't think that it is, yeah. But I do sometimes wonder, like, should I go to therapy just to like just to see like what if there what if there is something you know just to, just to like double check you know just to make sure i really should not be doing this but if anything i'm gonna grab it should be this okay i think i'm definitely going to die here but you know let's try let's try Just don't die. I know, just don't die, forehead. At least, like, the spear does, like, a lot of damage. So, it, as long as I can, like, get close, I can, like, melt a guy, for sure. But, like, a lot of these enemies, you're supposed to fight kind of from afar. What? Where are you going? <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh, these fires are worrisome. But yeah, I don't know. I think it'd be kind of funny to go to therapy. Like, just to go to therapy. Uh, hello? Ooh. I don't know why the game just suddenly started chugging. It's not like I have, you know, it's not like I'm doing any anything more or more intensive than what I have been. Oh shit. Not you. Little shit. Uh, yeah, I do have the shield. I have to remember I have the shield blocking shots in front of me. He's stuck in the rocks. Get him, get him. Nutty Putty Cave. Nutty Putty Cave and Isaac? Nutty Putty Cave is real? They added Nutty Putty Cave and Isaac? This is like the worst boss ever. Yeah, I hate him. I hate him so much. Oh my god. Well, I guess we're going sailing forth. If you can manage, it loses its benefit. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I wouldn't know. I've never been. But I, I see. I see. I see the. I see your point for sure. This is like, cause, okay, post like that, that boss that we went through, not, not the room, but like the one that's like mom stomping down on you and everything after that boss. Oh, nothing. Huh? Okay. Everything deals one heart of damage. 
So I'm like one hit from death constantly. Like granted I have extra lives, but you know, taking damage at all is severely unadvisable. Uh, yep, just like that. Because I just have to like, it just respawns you outside of the room. So you have to go through it all again. I'm going to therapy for the validation that something is just wrong with me. Yeah. I don't know. I, okay, actually, now now you've kind of put me in the mindset. Because, like, I know it's, like, a thing. People are, like, 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 the same way that, like, people will be, like, oh, it's okay. Like, like they, they feel somehow better if they are, like, oh, I'm, I'm not all white. I've, I'm, like, a quarter, uh... Ashkenazi Jew or whatever, you know, like that kind of thing where it's like, I, you know, like, like, they, they, they it's like, like, do you know what I'm talking about? Like, uh, I'm not all, uh, white or European, I'm, uh, I'm also, you know, my, my great grandpa's, uh, hairdresser was Chinese or something like that, that kind of thing. Ooh, that's a tinted rock. We need those. Well. And I feel like there's definitely, like, there's definitely, there's a market for that now. For, like, having some sort of, like, like, issue as well. Like, mentally, you know? I'm not talking some sort of disability, I'm talking, like, you know, like having to go to therapy for this or that. Which I think ultimately is is something you should have to go to therapy for if you think you, you know, you, you need to justify your existence somehow by proving that you are in some way a uh, minority a victim or something i think that's something that you do need to go to therapy for but it's you know maybe not what you're looking to hear that shield is like Put it, pulling double duty right now. It's like saving me from everything. Yeah, well, it's like, it's a weird conversation to have with the backdrop of uh, a silly game, isn't it? But I think ultimately that's, I'm, I'm ultimately I'm just using this game as a backdrop to just chat non-stop about whatever yeah, yeah yeah people who want to be mentally i know yeah i feel like if you want to be mentally ill there's probably already something wrong with you that you want that for the attention validation uh, i don't know for whatever it is that you want it for that's probably definitely a mental illness already <laughs> The devil, Joker, I hardly know her. Oh shit, that's because that's of the horrible joke, is it? Okay, yeah, I get it, it's my bad, that's my bad. Lump of coal is very good item. We absolutely take lump of coal. This might get me out of a pinch like that, exactly.
Yeah, we've we've been here already. We got the thing. Ha. Huh. But yeah. Oh, let me check. Have have there been there have not been any new tier list submissions. I need some new ones. Um I was telling uh, this was before you joined Bell. But we need we need some new tier lists. Uh because I think the only one I've got left now is uh, cool pictures of skeletons with guns. Which, honestly, I'm kind of looking forward to doing that. But after that, there's not much. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, I mean, no, no pressure. I, we've got today covered, at least. But the only one I have beyond the cool pictures of skeletons with guns at the moment is ranking fast food french fries which I just don't eat fast food that much so I I don't think I could rank that What the hell just killed me? It was like a jump scare. But anyway. It's kind of funny because I ask you to go find some tier lists. So you go find some tier lists. So it's like basically I'm trading engagement now for engagement later. You know? You're not here because you're looking for tier lists. But then you get me a tier list, which gets people watching and having fun. It's, you know, it's the trade-off. I'm out of coin. Speed up. I mean, I guess. I'll take it. Oh, I... If I play my cards right, I can go beat Satan this round. That's fun. Short-term sacrifices for long-term gain? Not even, because I mean... Is the tier list long-term gain? I think it's just... It's... It's it's like future gain, but it's... It's the same amount, isn't it? I don't know. Actually, more people, like, drop in for uh, tier lists than they do for Isaac. Weirdly enough, I think. What the? Oh, it leaves like damaging trail. But like, I I keep an eye on like the viewer count. As I oh, lovely. I keep an eye on the viewer count as I play. And as I stream. And it definitely every now and then we got like a, a plus one that gets in there and stays for like four or five minutes while we're doing tier list. For Isaac, it never really happens that much. Yeah, we like the tier lists. I know, I think the tier lists was like... I did it kind of just for fun, but I think it's kind of a genius idea. The shield, the shield is beautiful for this. Yeah, 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 melt it, melt it, melt it. Ah. Oh. Cool. But now, instead of going into the heart, we do this and we can go down. Let's go. Let's go, baby. We're gonna go beat Satan. I love, okay, this is like a new, this is a new save file. Because I have a save file with Gale, but I don't want to touch that one. Because I feel like that's kind of, that's ours. So this is a new one.
and it's kind of uh brass for streamers through the gaze games list yeah i know and well the thing with this is like isaacs had like so many dlcs well it's not that many but like each dlc is basically changes the game entirely and i'm on the dlc before last like so it's not sort of the most popular version of Isaac that I'm playing. I, I'm i sure if I were playing um, Repentance, which is the, the one that's come out late, the latest, that one I think, we might get more people coming in and, and watching. But I feel kind of off about buying that before I've beat this because i feel like i'm not you know it's it's sort of like like spending money on something i don't need to spend money yet and it's not like i'm making any money off of like twitch so it's hard to justify doing it just for twitch viewers okay doing this whole thing without getting hit once is going to be a, a challenge i think Okay, Satan. Let's have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, now he's gonna try and stop me with his feet. Need to, like, dodge. The worst part is, like, he doesn't necessarily stomp... Uh, ...where you are. He just kind of stomps a little randomly. So sometimes he can just like hit you straight on and that's it. <gasps> We've done it. We've done it. No hit. Oh, he's so good with it. He's so good with it. Nice. All right. Um, that's going to do it for this. I'm going to do tier list now. So... Wait for a second while I set that up. I'm gonna close Isaac. We don't need that anymore. Give me browser. Is the Oh, the browser only is, is only open as long as I have it open, huh? What a concept. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Where is Alyssa? Copy link. Let's go. Oh, I need to update stream information. Uh, we're doing, this is just chatting. And tier list, done. Uh, no, I do not need help. Oh, wow. There's, I mean, there's not. It's not a long tier list, but it's definitely more pictures of cool skeletons with guns than I expected. For sure. Are we supposed to rank this? This is like, like... S is like coolest, I assume. And D is like lamest, right? I think we're starting off really strong with uh, lame as shit. <laughs> I'm sorry to say this it's so it's so US isn't it like it's so it's it, it's it feels so fragile you know like I feel like that's kind of the main thing with like the US sort of pride that kind of like this this the sort of like the gun the skeleton the everything 
it feels like you got the skeletons and the guns and like the, the the old like paper wreath going around and live free or die like i mean come on right like it's so it's trying so hard it's like it's like those insects or like those those um those animals in nature that make themselves look like spooky animals three tier lists for the future let me see let me see let me see ace attorney trilogy hairstyles okay that actually that's a very good one web browsers tier list very good red flags oh in a relation that okay these are actually very good i'm very excited to do literally all of them so thank you very much for that the so yeah i was saying like the sort of this sort of live free or die it's kind of like those animals in nature that try so hard to look like an animal that's poisonous or dangerous you know like the actual poisonous or dangerous animal like it still has the bright colors but it's mostly just like chilling you know but like the one that like that's trying to look poisonous or dangerous it's like you know it's like like posing up. I'm de I don't eat me. You know. It's got like you know like 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 a skull design or whatever. Like it's yeah. This one is like this second one. I don't like it very much actually. I don't think that's very cool. I mean it's cooler than this because this is just you know you're mixing in patriotism. You're making it kind of like this one. I'm immediately gonna put here. I think you oh. Uh, can we put it can we add an extra tier hang on extra tier please add a row below hell and the confederate one is going to that one. <laughs> oh my god i didn't even see that oh that's whew, that's rough <laughs> yeah that one's going down there for sure this one is just okay it's not very cool but at least it achieves what level of coolness it has it achieves honestly it's it's uh yeah the americorps ones maybe that's what we should do we should create this is americorps you're so true you're so right i i have a bad habit of saying you're so true instead of you're so right yeah americorps li lives down here okay this it achieves whatever like level of coolness it has it achieves like honestly you know it's like it's like a clip art drawing it's not got that much going for it but it's like a skeleton in a trench coat with shades and two revolvers yeah he's like some you know it's all right i guess it's like is this i think it's the lowest level but it's all right this one, I need to open this into like a new tab because I can't really see. Fuck, that's a little cool. That's a little cool. It's got like the, it's got a cross dangling from its neck. Okay. Yeah, I mean, come on. It's a little cool. It's like a little, it's like a bee, I think. In terms of what we got here, it's like a bee. This okay, actually, never mind. This is a C because this one is a B, I think. Let me let me see it. Oh yeah. Never mind. This one's an A. Oh, this one is cool. <laughs> Look at him with the cigarette. The the cigarette's what does it for me. You've got him with like the, the sheriff badge, the pump action shotgun. The, like the, the 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 jail this looks i mean it's it looks less like a jail and more like some kind of mausoleum looking thing but yeah this this is a this is a stone cold motherfucker next one let's see it zapata what does it say why does it say zapata i mean i i assume that's like a place it's kind of Zapata core <laughs> instead of AmeriCore. I don't think that one's as cool. I think, okay, I think these two trade places, actually. That one, that, it's cooler than this one. It's basically strictly better than this. It's got the same color scheme, everything going on. 
but it's actually drawn with like you know it's got fire in the eyes and everything next one next one let's see it i mean i mean uh, for a second i thought actually the hair was coming out of this guy's eye now i think actually i think this one is fine mostly i didn't even see the sort of the flame decal down here oh my god that's extra points for sure but whatever extra points it gains here, it loses with, like, why the hell is there, like, dice and an 8-ball here? Like, you know, this this is just here because it's, like, cool, quote-unquote. But it's not, it's not, it's, it kind of, it, it has, like, an opposite effect. It's counterproductive. So I think this kind of, this one kind of lives down here with this one. This one is kind of cool. Oh, this is just a woman. Wait. This is just like a lady, isn't it? With a... With a handkerchief thing on her face that has a sort of Dia de los Muertos skeleton on it. But it's just like a lady. Bro. Not a skeleton. Uh, D. <laughs> what? Brother, do you have a gun? I don't see a gun here. Skeletons with guns. Yeah, I'm in I'm in the I'm at the right address. It's cool pictures of skeletons with guns. Brother, you did not you do not fill the 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 the, the, the quota, the assignment. You do not <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it says badass on the gun oh man i mean like okay i'm just i have to imagine i have to like think at what point does a guy draw this like this right with like the hand grenades hanging from the thing that the, the cars on fire the golden gate bridge you know like it it's like a, it's it's a it's a cool imposing badass imagery for sure but then you go and like write badass on the gun it's sort of without badass on the gun if we try and cover that it's cooler am i wrong I feel like if you don't have badass written on that gun, it's cooler. And I feel like the artist must have seen that. Like, unless they forced him, I don't see why the artist would put badass on the skeleton. I think this kind of lives in this category. Um, this one, it's the exact same one as this one isn't it like is the i mean it's got the same hat it's got fire in the eyes instead of sunglasses but it's got the two revolvers is yeah it's, it's it's the same they're, they're like <laughs> they're the dalton brothers did y'all ever read or watch lucky luke that's them is the dalton brothers <laughs> There's the tall one, short one. There's like there's four of them, granted, but it's like, you know, this this is how we start. We need two more that are shorter here. Let's see, let's see. Open image in new tab. Oh okay. Okay. I kinda dig this. The sort of the pointing at you, like it's your turn, you know, you're next. The the bayonet that's actually kind of a scythe. I kind of dig this one. I think this one's kind of alright. I don't begrudge this one at all. I think this one... I mean, it's not... I think this one has to be S. Just because of, like, otherwise... We're never gonna put anything on S if we're looking to match this. I think this... This, this works. This is better. Oh. <sighs> 
What's up with your jaw, my dude? <laughs> what is up with that jaw? Look at it. Like, the bottom teeth are, like, wider. Like, he's got, like, an underbite. You know? He's got, like, like a like a severe underbite. It's like the bottom teeth go wider than the top ones. This is not cool. It looks like, like a herder kind of skeleton, you know? It doesn't seem like it... Like, like, flames? Cool. Check. Two revolvers? Cool. Check. That looks sort of the X... Like, pose, yeah, cool, check, that the flames kind of hitting it, cool. I don't like the way the flames hit him on the head. Makes it kind of look like he's balding. Um, oh, I was thinking, what kind of thing is this? Because it's got the, the, these, I was thinking, it was like some kind of pouch. It's a flag, isn't it? That's what you would run, a, like, a string through. To hoist the flag. This is on a flag. Oh, I don't know if that makes it more or less cool. But the underbite is, like, severe detriment. This is... This is gonna live, I think, I think here. And I'm gonna bring this one up. I think that's one. No, because this one had the dice and the eight ball. No, this one deserves to be down here. For sure. This one. I mean, okay. The realistic skeleton kind of does it for me. The realistic skeleton is cool. Uh, the gun, like, what he's clearly what just shot himself through the head. Is this what we're what we're supposed to assume here? I kind of, I kind of, you know, I, I dig the sort of that for sure. I dig the the, the 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 pose the imagery the but the the badassness sort of conveyed by actions instead of words <laughs> actions and i only noticed this now he's wearing freaking aviators oh my god he's wearing goddamn aviators in the x-ray hell yeah hell yeah this one is cool as hell this one goes up to s for me this one's all right Let's see the next one. I mean, it's cool perspective. Cool, cool perspective. That hand is fucked, though. That does not look like a hand. I mean, okay, it looks like a hand. It just doesn't look like bones. It looks like sausages. <laughs> it looks like, like some sort of, like, like croissants, you know? Like, like, the, like the bends on it and everything. It, it bends. It's got, the, like, the nice tanned color and everything. It looked like some tasty croissants holding a gun and then a skull in the background with also an underbite. Why can these people not make a skeleton close its like teeth normally? Hand looks like a worm. It does. OMG, would you love me if my hand was a worm and my skull was uh, skinless and had a severe overbite? And... Uh, I was holding a gun at you. Would you love me if my hand was a worm and my head was a skull and I had a gun? Uh, this is, I mean, it's not very cool. I think it kind of, it's there. I think it's kind of there. It's kind of like, it's got the same sort of underbite and like the same kind of issues as this. At least it brought like a weapon. It wasn't like just a lady with a handkerchief. So, you know, we're up from bo the bottom. This one's pretty cool. This one's pretty cool. This looks like a, like a tattoo or something. I would see this tattooed on someone down in like Venice Beach. This this I think this is this is pretty cool. I should ask her that. I think she can probably hear me, but I'll ask her. I'll get an answer out of her and report back. The I mean, this one's pretty cool. I think with this one's like a category. It's sort of like, you know, that's sort of like the grin. It's that kind of like the shit eating green grin, you know? It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I have an issue. When I say shit eating grin, I always say shit eating green. 
It's sort of it's a, it's a surefire way to make the Spanish accent come out, and I don't know why, and I hate it. When I'm when I'm preparing to say it, I'm like mentally coaching myself through the word grin. You know, it's like it's grin. I try, I try so hard, and then I say shit it in green every time, every time. Well, anyway, but yeah, sort of like you know the grin. The sort of, yeah, I mean, the hand is not very skeleton-like, but the sculpture is, you know, is pretty good. Oh, is this some, like, Plague Doctor thing going on? Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, it's a steampunk skeleton. It's got the gears and everything, the copper guns, the, the goggles. That's pretty cool. Steampunk skeleton is pretty cool. I like me a steampunk skeleton very much. He's got the suit with like 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 shoulder pad like insignia or whatever he's got going on here. Like the little chain going across with the watch. The the, the, the cravat, the red cravat. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now what I don't love I think this is hair. This hair does not look good. <laughs> this hair looks awful, actually. But other than that, it's incredible. Oh. Okay. Oh, it does have a gun. I thought it didn't. It's got a shotgun on the other side. And it's got a... Uh, uh, I'm going to forget the name for it. He's got uh, uh, just a sand uh, clock, sand timer. Just hanging on like a, a rosary, looks like. It's definitely got like beads, right? It's not just like a string. It's got like beads. I don't know what the deal is with this flappy thing. It looks like, like it might have been a, some sort of flag. Now, let's talk about the card. And, you know, it's kind of the same as, like, this. You know, like, like death and and being reckless and all of that. Like, gambling. You know, if you're, if you're cool, if you're a skeleton, you're badass. You, you, there's, there's this sort of, this, this, it goes hand in hand. Sort of the way that's, like, there, there, there's, like, legends about, like, people outsmarting death in like a game of chance or like a game of dice or like whatever it is you know it's like death is supposed to be for a, a gambler death is supposed to play cards death is supposed to like enjoy pool i suppose you know it's sort of all these sort of games you might wager on including i'm assuming like poker or any of like the card games that's something that goes hand in hand with like death but I think it makes it less cool. There is something to be said, of course. Like um, that game, uh, Inscription, that kind of came and went. Uh, but it had a very strong theme, you know, it, that was like very spooky. And it kind of felt like, you know, playing with death, against death, kind of. Because that dude has you there and like controls you and everything. And that was fun. That was great. But it was, it's just, I, f I feel like unless it's done with purpose, with like a through line, this is not that cool to me. Like th just adding the imagery, just being like death and gambling for that. That's extra cool, right? No, no, it's not. Um, I mean, I'm going to put you here with this one because this one also had the dice and everything. You were going to do that. Uh, cowboy death dude again with the long hair why is that like a thing like this one okay this is like decently long hair but that's just goes with the image this you know it's the same kind of hair this like long dark hair flowing off that's not cool I don't like I don't that's not a cool hairstyle <laughs> I don't know like this is cool the guns are cool the hat is cool 
the 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 the, 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 the actual skull itself all right it's decent you know at, at least the, it looks kind of spooky it doesn't look like it has like a, a goofy bite or anything that would be scary to see it's very ghost writer ish but the hair the hair lets it down at the finish line it's like b tier to me that's b tier oh man this 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 skeleton looks like oh he was he has like a drinking problem but he has to turn up to work and like pose you know and do like the photo ops or whatever like this this skeleton does not want to be here holy shit this is like this is as uncool as i've ever seen a skeleton be oh my god it's like brilliant the way the eyes looking like like ski goggles he doesn't even look angry like this kind of looks angry like the, the, you know the the brow kind of going down the brow kind of going down the brow is perfectly flat and they're just like droopy sad eyes and then like the the teeth all kind of out of look oh no this man is this man is doing this cuz he needs the money to go and buy some uh jägermeister <laughs> okay okay decent decent um realistic ish skeleton that's a check we like that the uh actual clothing it looks almost like like 3d generated or something like it doesn't look like it's it looks like it's a little funky like it also looks like the gun was put in there it doesn't look like it's just holding a gun like in the same art style it looks a little off but i do like the the the, the realistic ish looking skeleton so that one in terms of cool skeletons with guns i would say it goes like here maybe i'm, I'm gonna put it down here actually just because like the weird clashing art styles and now this, oh baby, <laughs> look at the smile, oh, <laughs> look, at, look at that cheeky smile, <laughs> I love this, I mean, at least, it's basically this, it's like, it's even the same weapon, looks like, yeah, but like, you know, it's the same art style, at least, you would use this as an emote, I mean, the face, or like the whole damn thing? I mean, in any case, this is a like this is a fantastic face. I love this face. This guy is a tier at least. It's like, it looks like this, but like you know, a bit a bit more of a daredevil, a bit more kind of fun. This one is a rehash of this one, just a little bit better. But it's like literally, what is it with like this? Like, what is it about the the this hat, the 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 cloak, the two revolvers? What is it about this? Like, what is it? Why is this the the design we're going for these days? I mean, it's it's going here. It's the same thing. I don't find it any cooler now. It's got okay. It's it does have like a bit of a cooler like background for sure not much it's just like mesas you know it's just like the rock formations you might find wild west skeletons i know i would not have expected that to be like as big of a thing as it is but it is i mean this is i mean it's cool but is it okay <laughs> is the thing this is like a I mean, if it's it's either a mohawk or an American, uh, a Native American like headdress, which I don't know how how cool that is to do. It's also kind of Wild West in a fucked up way. Also, is the did they leave the damn thyroid in this skeleton? This looks no. This looks like separate drawings all mashed together into one. 
in my eyes, this is great. <laughs> This one, like, the, the the gun doesn't even look like... The gun looks like it's, like, 3D. And, like, the clothes are also kind of all wonky and everything. This one's on, like, it's all right. It's decent. But, like, did they leave? I think they left the damn thyroid on. And this guy. Look at look at this. This isn't part of a vertebrae. This, this is what vertebrae look like. This? Oh, I'm smelling the lasagna now. I just caught a whiff of it. It smells good. It smells real good. <laughs> oh shit. I mean, it's decently cool. I think that weird sort of head thing, it both adds and subtracts from it a little bit. What I do think is like, like having the two hands like this and no like body connecting them that's a little like that's not cool i feel like they should have added that so it's it's gonna be b tier i think for me it's like all right but it's not so cool now these two i'm gonna judge together like back to back just because they're very clearly it's the same damn skull it's the same like like image and I like them both about the same. I like this one less because it's military. That's true. So I'm going to put this one down in D and this one up in C. But they're basically, they're the same, they're the same skeleton. It's the same. They're reusing the drawing and everything. The shoulder blades, the arms, it's all the same. They've just changed the, the arms holding it. But other than that, it's the same. And even like this, it's just like at it. Oh, I was going to say, is it clipping through? Yeah, of course, it's being fed into the gun. Duh. Okay. But like, yeah, I don't. I don't respect that. I simply don't. This? Okay. We're, we're moving away. At least we're getting that hat. But at least it's like it's a mafia skeleton with a Tommy gun. You know? It's not a it's not a Wild West skeleton. It's a mafia skeleton. I think that puts it like a little bit higher, in my opinion. Not much. But like, you know, the smile, the pearly whites, the cigar. Yeah. That does give it a bit more oomph, in my opinion. What the hell is this, bro? What the hell is this? What is this? This is just, it's simply not cool. What is... <laughs> it's just so weird. What? I, oh my gosh. I can't... I don't even have any, like, commentary to give about this one. It's just a dude. Like, they drew the least amount of skeleton that they could. His hands aren't even bones. There's no joints here. They just put like this in there. It should be like a dude with a bit of makeup on. Yeah, this, this is not very cool in my opinion. This is, oh, this is pretty cool. This It's a Zippo lighter. Zippo lighter gives it an extra point. I think like Zippo lighters, you know, you just like flip them open. That's you're already like a cool guy if you've got a Zippo lighter. So that's already like a point of cool right there. Then he's got a hat, but it's a tasteful one. It's got two two revolvers, one aiming here, the other over there. That one somehow is the one that just fired, not this one. That's a little weird. I feel like that might have been an accident, an accident maybe. And the the bird, is sort of this this crow, raven, whatever it is, hanging out. That's extra points. That's cool. That's cool as hell. I'm going to bring this one up to... I'm going to bring it up to S tier, actually. This is going to be S tier to me. This one is... I mean, it's not that cool, is it? This one's... Why does... Why do you have, like, the, the clip of bell? I think that whatever. I mean, it's just the sombrero for one. A little odd, maybe a little insensitive. 
the 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 poncho the okay what is with this obsession with drawing a skeleton and making the teeth like like meet against each other like this there's like the top teeth bite over the bottom ones they don't just like you know i really don't like this i don't know why but anyway uh there's one more sombrero skeleton in here and i think they belong together as a match uh made in purgatory so off they go this one's got a mustache man how and the same damn long hair why is it like is it just because it's like the kind of guy that would be into skeletons with guns hasn't had a good haircut in like decades because whenever skeletons do have hair in this shit it's like this long hair it's like this awful this this is awful hair this is goddamn awful i hate this no yeah no they did is the most stereotypically mexican skeleton ever for sure but it's the yeah and also this the, the steampunk one also has like this awful hair growing straight out of the damn bone i i don't like a skeleton with hair it feels odd it feels awful i don't know you go i guess i'll give you some points because otherwise this is looking like no i mean it's just not cool though i can't give you points you're not cool you stay in c tier and be damn thankful that you've got this cushion of absolutely horrible ones below you but this doesn't look like anything from here oh what wait it's this we've seen this it's it's you it's the same skeleton twice skeleton so nice they did it twice <laughs> They gave me the same damn one. You seeing this shit? And what's with the background? Good food. Thumbs up. Goof. Gold. What? Is this like like some sort of like like Play Store ad for like a skeleton keyboard or something? Because this does look like it's like a keyboard with like a like a skulls I assume on top of here, but it's the same skeleton. So it's got to be at least this. And I think the keyboard and everything makes it like less cool. It just goes down one tier. It just gets owned. I don't know, but it's so funny. It's the same. It's the same one. We've seen this one. It's the one with the badass written on the gun. I had a whole spiel about that. It's the same one. You've got the Golden Gate Bridge burning back there. Yeah. They fed us the same skeleton twice. And it was worse the second time. What? Image a new tab, please. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I mean, for all we know, it was used with permission. Probably not, but maybe it was. This one, though? Holy shit, man. Why does this skeleton look like a stoner? Like, I feel like this skeleton smokes weed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at him. Oh my god. I love it. Yeah, I think this this guy is S tier for sure. This is what we're looking for. This is like actual S tier. It's incredible. He looks so goofy. I never, I've never seen so much expression in a skeleton's face. <laughs> The realistic skeleton is a check for me. Realistic fingers, check for me. Gun uh, looks like a Roblox potato, but you know, the face more than freaking makes up for it. Oh, the face is incredible. I love it. And we go right back to more of this slop. I mean, this is, it's whatever. There's, okay, I can, I can agree. I can agree with some degree of like like deforming the eye socket you know to sort of give because otherwise if you this is just like a skull right 
and there's like there's some expression here but there isn't like you can't it's just the expression is whatever it is you can't really give it one you know the same way you can do here you can make it look angry with this but this is going a bit far isn't it you've given him like forehead wrinkles bro <laughs> This is not, this is not as, this is like, like, it's got a layer of skin on there. You know, it's like, it's a cool, it's cool guns, for sure. And it's like, it's, uh, you, you did good, like, like, teeth and everything, points for that. But this forehead, I don't know, I'm like a bit of, I'm a bit of a skeleton purist. I'm gonna put it in B tier, though. Imagine, yeah, this skeleton needs freaking Botox, man. How? This feels like a sticker uh, you would see on the laptop of the uh, weird kid in class that keeps asking the same question over and over in the lecture hall. I think that's 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 what I'm getting off of this. Also, there's something about this, I think, like, very clearly, you know, there's, like, they did, they drew one half, and then they did, like, symmetry, they just did, like, do, do symmetry on this, and then they just added, like, a bit of, like, detail here, but it's, it's like, symmetrical, this, this chamber, this chamber, this and this, this and this, this, it's, like, symmetrically, exactly, which makes these teeth look god-awful. Why are his, like, two front teeth only this wide? You know? He looks almost like a... I forget what it is. It's almost like a whale or something. Like, like you know, the sort of, like, weird teeth that they got. Like, the, the thin, weird whale teeth. It looks kind of like this. Like, the symmetry... It's kind of at least you should have done it like a bit wider or the teeth at least because this is a very small mouth you know they give it like an incredibly wide like like lower jaw and then like the tiniest thinnest little teeth <laughs> yeah it's not very cool i'm sorry to say this goes here the c tier c tier is where we put everything around here this is, I mean, it's basically this, again, it's slightly, it's slightly cooler. I'm gonna bump it up to C tier, you know, black and red. It's like good, it's good color sense. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I never even saw this coming. This looks like what would happen if I drew a skeleton. Uh... Food is ready. Hell yeah. This looks like what would happen if I drew a skeleton. Um, and I am... Somehow... I mean, it's not... No, I can't, I can't justify it. I can't call this cool by any stretch. This has to live down in D tier. I know some... <laughs> Alright, you're going in a little too hard. <laughs> you're going in a little too hard on this poor guy. But, you know, yeah, I mean, essentially, you're not wrong. <laughs> this feels like a <laughs> Simba, remember who you are. <laughs> With like the, the, the trans, semi-transparent skeletons, the, the clouds, the rays from God shining down. And then this 3D, like, I had a video game, actually. I had a video game that was about, like, learning about biology, learning about the human body. And the main character was, like, a 3D skeleton. It had, like, eyeballs in its eye sockets to sort of make it a bit more personable. But it was basically, like, this skeleton model. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, it's kind of... It might need to be B tier just because it's it's such an amalgamation, but somehow I think it makes it a little cool. Somehow this is definitely cooler than this. 
And we have we have to agree on that. This is cooler than this, simply. And you're you'd see this in your dreams? You have some weird dreams. This is also just the guy. This is just the guy. Like it's these two, they 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 go out they're going out. These two. They go out together. Last one. Fuck. I mean, that's pretty cool, actually. I can't lie, that's pretty cool. It's got, like, it looks almost like, because, like, the bottom teeth aren't showing. It looks almost like it's doing, like, a, you know, like, biting his bottom lip, like, looking seductively down the scope. <laughs> Who took his legs? Oh, you know, you don't need legs to snipe. Although it is true. He does have his whole spine. And then no pelvis. <laughs> That's gone. <laughs> but I think... I'm a... I would think... I think I put this in A tier. I think that one's pretty cool. I think that this is decently cool. Are we... Are we agreed? I don't know why I'm looking for your for your approval now that I've finished the whole list. But I guess it's just, this is the last one. I want to end on a good note. I think this is fine. I think this is a good, good skeleton. Definitely deserving of A tier, is my thought. And I think for the first time, like, ever, we've actually managed to do a unimodal tier list. I think that, you know, we've made one with, like, a peak at C, and then... It's got like this going on, but it's not enough disturbance in the data, I think, to call it bimodal. I think for the first time, we haven't had stuff that's like very good and very bad and kind of nothing in the middle. A lot of pictures of skeletons with guns, turns out, are kind of meh. Take it or leave it. Yeah, literally, it's like we made a bell curve, kind of. Like, okay, look at, look at this. Um... this it's a it's a like a bell curve right kind of i think it's kind of, right it's standard deviation so true standard deviation yeah it is a bell curve you would you would know does it does it look like a bell curve to you bell I think it is. I think it does. Um, but anyway, we've just hit the the two hour mark on this stream, and just as well, cause cause dinner is done. So it's about time I call it quits on this. Go eat. Go eat. So so good. And I will stream again Thursday. It's going to be more of this. Uh, and then the weekend, hopefully, we're going to do... Uh, weekend, we're going to do Portal. Portal 2, we're going to do. Uh, looking forward to that. So I will see you then. See you Thursday for next stream. All right. Bye-bye.